Ons ons sien uit na die naweek om te sien ja. jou, of jou, jou predictions ja. gaan waarkom, nee? Ek hoop ook, ek, ek hoop ook straks. Dat is goed geweest. Nou, we said that we're going to be showing you how to turn your household clutter into instant cash. And Ewan has more on that. Dit is correct, Katlega. Nou, ons vrienden bij Cash Converters is uit om jou te helpen om so'n bykie extra kontant in die handen te kry door ons slaat te raak van onnodige goed wat net spasie opneem in jou huis. Nou, mens besef nie altyd wat die waarde van die goed kan dra nie. So, terug saam met ons is, is die bestuurende directeur van Cash Converters, Richard, en ook Jeremy, en hy is die eindhaar van de Old Corkscrew, uh, en ook een antieke kender om ons te leer hoe om waarde in jou goed raak te sien. Richard, welcome back. Jeremy, nice Thank to meet you, man. Nice yeah. to meet you. Welcome to Expresso. So, don't worry about the voices in the back, that's just our good old team, you know, they are making a bit of noise on a Thursday morning. But you're here to teach us, you know, how to spot value. Because you can you can find treasures. Like if somebody walks into cash converters, I mean you you, you get a lot of stuff from people. Absolutely. Just on your turn, I mean how much value do you think homes, you know? Um, you and I'd expect there's there's lots of stuff around, lying around that people are no longer using. They uh, they might not need anymore and things like that. And there's we're generally second-hand yeah. dealers, so people would bring into our, our environment things like spoons like this, and we buy them as a spoon that you eat breakfast with. Yeah. And I would expect Jeremy and and the uh, the antique dealers would come through the stores and really see extreme value in those type of things yeah. uh, where we just buy it for a spoon his yeah. team would, uh, would would buy it as an antique nice. so there's lots of exciting opportunities so if you really know what to look for you can really buy yourself a bargain Absolutely. so Jeremy what have you got here this well, morning? we're gonna start with uh, three spoons um, I'm gonna give you that spoon to have a look at in the meanwhile okay Rich, if you'll have a look at that one Thank you, and I'm gonna screen. take this one while you guys look at that I'm gonna move on and tell you about two porcelain bowls that we brought into the studio the first one this one here it's a tube line bowl it's made by a company called mailing we yeah. get that information from the rear of the of the bowl. The other one is by a company called Moorcroft. Yeah. That has a very large band of collectors both here and in the UK. Yeah. Price wise today worth eight to nine hundred grand. Yeah. And that would be worth four to six thousand. Really? These are the kind of pieces that we find in homes across South Africa gathering dust and that turn up in places like cash converters. So you might just have one of these lying go. around somewhere. <laughs> Get out and have a look for the spoons because the spoons are what you find in your kitchen cupboards at home. Now yeah. if you have them at home, go and have a look. Dig them out. Bring them. Send us a yeah. picture. Yeah. If you turn them over and have a look, I'll begin with the first one. This is the one that will be most commonly found in homes in South Africa. Uh -huh. It's silver plate. You turn it over on the back. It has a series of marks. Yeah. This particular one says Elkington plate. It's silver plate. In other words, the base metal is probably copper or um, nickel that they've put a layer of mm -hmm. silver over. Yeah. Today, value-wise, 20 to 40 rand. Yeah. Richard, yours, however, when mm -hmm. you turn it over, has <laughs> a set of English hallmarks on the back. Uh -huh. And that today was made, or it was made in London in 1896. Value today, four to 600. Wow, really? Yeah. You're, you're holding my personal favorite. That was made in the Cape in the 1820s by a silversmith called Johannes Combrink. Yeah. He had a factory in Dorp Street, not far from where we And he was one of the foremost silver producers at the time. That would have been used to eat breakfast. The guys would have gone in, they would have taken their Rex dollars, given it to him, he would have fashioned a spoon. Yeah, yeah. Value today on that, four to six thousand. Are you serious? The nice thing about that was the client we bought it from found it at a white elephant stall at his local school fete and the price he paid, yeah. just five rand. Okay. That's the kind of piece we look for at Cash Converse. Wow. So I can see a slight engraving here on the back though. It says 1799 or anything like that. Yeah, that so would have been the original date. Probably yeah. it was given as a, as a birthing spoon, um, as a yeah. christening present to somebody who was, yeah. who was born and they would have done that because being born with a silver spoon in your mouth. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay. So yeah, definitely. So look out for those, you know, those really distinct Absolutely. markings. Now, you what know, we've done markings. is we've photographed all of these and they're going to be on the Cash Converters website, on your website and on the Sada website. Yeah. So people at home can go and have a look and see the marks. Nice. And obviously what we want is we want everybody at home to go around, have a look, see what you've got, send it in to us and we'll tell you what's sitting hidden in your cupboards. Moving on to the last things that we brought in. I bought in some glass vials. Have a look okay. at that one. Yeah. This is uh, a very interesting one. Yeah, it's um, a 1950s Czechoslovakian two-color pressed glass vase. Um, it's unsigned. Um, we know what it is because we see quite a few of them and we have the original trade catalogs. Yeah. Value today of that between two and four thousand rand. Sure. This glass vase, again, it's just a glass vase, fairly similar to that. The difference here is that this was made by one of the foremost French glass makers, a guy yeah. called René Lalique. It was made in 1925. It's number 952, the name is Palms. And these are the type of pieces that we really look for. Yeah. It's signed on the base. It has Arle Lalique France on the base. And today value 30 to 50,000. <laughs> 30 to 50,000 Rand? Yes. So, and this, so Richard, this is just some of the stuff that you yeah. can get at your cash converters. Absolutely. Because people come bring it in. Yeah. These would be typical uh, types of uh, household goods that you'd find yeah. in our stores. Um, so yes, there are opportunities. And we, and we troll those stores all the time, on a week-by-week -week basis, yeah. because their stock changes on the floor all the time. Yeah. So I've got a 
members and a lot of my members who will pass by can't uh, just have a look in yeah. you never know what you're going to find exactly so those pictures will be on this lastly where they'll be on um, sada.coza yeah. and they'll be on uh, your website and oh, they will be on cash code voters later in the morning obviously okay. there are lots of different pictures on the back of, of screens course. and people are welcome to send us pictures and we'll help you id awesome. awesome guys thank you so so much for coming through thank richard you. very Cheers. nice to meet thank you, you very much. jamie thank you very much indeed. thanks a lot man i'm my shocked pleasure. i'm shocked so guys go take a look at those uh, at those pictures and see which one maybe you have something like this yeah. in your own home in your drawer whatever the case may be it could be worth a lot of money or even if you know how to spot it go to cash converters you might just buy yourself a huge bargain now we would love to come to your home and declutter your house and turn your stash into cash all you need to do is contact us at, at uh, cash converters at espressoshow.com and we could make a turn there send us your details and also a picture of your clutter that you think you can do without so don't do it so please get in touch with us cash converters at espressoshow.com right now time for a quick ad break we'll be back right after this